A few days ago, I got some really bad news. Steph's got a new boyfriend. What? Hold on. Is that the reason you took all the knives out of my kitchen? I value my life. <laughs> That's cool, man. I mean, I guess it was bound to happen. She is single. Was. And it's been a month since we've been broken up. Even I've been seeing people since then. You mean the date that ended with you getting a black eye? Yeah. I never thanked you for setting that up. So, you're actually cool with this? I can't force her to be with me. I've tried. I mean, voodoo is not as easy as the internet makes out. You're taking this much better than I thought you would. I was kind of expecting something to be on fire by now. Nah. I'm happy as long as she's happy. It's really mature of you. You wouldn't happen to know the, the name of the guy that she's getting happy with, would you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you that. Why not? Because I don't want to be named as an accomplice. I'll give you 20 quid. David. <laughs> as long as it's not Tanner. <laughs> um. Can I just say, your stalking skills are worryingly impressive. If you weren't so unhinged, you could probably be a spy. Thanks, man. Where'd you get that thing from, anyway? Science Museum. So, what's your plan here? What do you mean? Well, why are we here? It's not like you're going to go over there and tell him that you can't see Steph anymore. Well, I hadn't really thought that far. Do you think I should, like, challenge him to a fight? <laughs> For her honour? What are you, a knight? Anyway, you've seen what he looks like. He'd destroy you. Not if you're here to back me up. I'm not here to back you up. I value my life. What do you not understand about that? Gee, thanks. Don't worry. It's not going to come to that. I just want to get a better look at him. You know I'm not home, right? I want to run, but I can't move my legs. I can. You're Darren. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you, man. Excuse me? I said it's nice to meet you. If I shake your hand, you're not going to do that thing where you crush my fingers, are you? But trust me, if I wanted to hurt you, there'd be nothing you could do about it. Oh, right. <laughs> you might as well come in, have a drink or something. No. Thanks. Um, are you not angry? What, because you was watching my house? I mean, yeah, it's a bit creepy. Mostly because I don't know how you found out where I live. But I mean, other than that, I don't see why we can't be cool. As in friends? Like, I get it. I'm the guy that's giving it to your ex-girlfriend. And I know that can be weird, but I don't want things to be awkward between us. Unlike right now. <sighs> Look, you seem like a cool guy. I'm sure if we met under different circumstances, we would have been mates. Well, as a mate, could you stop seeing my ex? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, i got to thank you. What for? For messing things up with Steph. You gave me a chance to get in there, literally. Didn't need to hear that. <laughs> Look, to be honest with you, she just wanted to be friends at first, you know? I thought she was going to get back with you. It was hard work, but I convinced her not to. So you were turning her against me? I knew it! I'm not crazy! You are crazy. You're not a psycho. That's why I don't care that you'll probably try something crazy to get her back, because it will never work. It might work. It will never work. Look, I've got to go. Band practice. I'm a drummer. No big deal. You should check out our stuff. I'm sure you like it. Probably won't do that. That's a shame. Your ex-girlfriend loved it. Was that supposed to be an innuendo? I was just talking about the music, but yeah. She also loves my... Yep. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> I did check out his band, though. He was right. I really liked it. Oh, damn, I hate that guy. J'en suis à ma troisième bière. Oh mais c'est irrespirable.
Carilla de Maman.